finally finished Iron Banner bounties and the Iron Banner quest for the Forerunner armor set. Now it's finally time for me to make the decision to grind out tokens for the new Iron Banner weapons. Is it worth it to stick around and farm them? Let's go over whether or not these guns are worth the time. That's right, we're gonna do a double review today and we're talking about Peacebound Sidearm and Forge's Pledge Pulse Rifle. The two new weapons released for Iron Banner. So first off, let's talk about the Peacebound Sidearm first. It's one of the newest stasis weapons in the game. Three round burst adaptive frame sidearm. Its base stats are, and the impact is at 75. The range is at a 40. The stability is at an 81. The handling is at a 55. Reload speed is at a 36. The aim assist is at a 69. And the zoom is at a 12. Recoil direction is 92. Rounds per minute, 491. And the magazine comes at a nice little 30. All right, time to kill on this bad boy. It's around 1.8. The damage drop off here is about between 12.9 and then 15.2 when ADS. Second, we have the Forge's Pledge Pulse Rifle. It's a solar pulse rifle from the Adaptive Frame family as well. It has a nice little grip and it's very, very sturdy with high stability. All right, it's base stats at 29 impact, 44 range, 60, 57 uh, stability, 45 handling, 48 reload, the aim assist is 61, and the zoom is a 17. The recoil direction on this is 51 rounds per minute, 390, and the magazine is, comes in at a whopping 36. It's time to kill is roughly around 2, sec, two, two seconds, and the damage fall off for non-ADS is 18.9, and then for ADS is 31.6. All right, take all of that with a grain of salt. Both of these guns are very, very good, and we're gonna go into why I think that. Now I'm trying to think, when is the last time I've used two Iron Banner weapons together in a loadout? And honestly, I can't remember. And I'm mostly speaking from a PVP perspective. Now, yes, it's true that I don't play much PVP, but I still try to give you my best recommendations for both PVP and PVE respectively. That being said, I think both of these weapons pair very well together. It's just something about how smooth it feels to fight down range with the Forge's Pledge and then finish up a kill in close quarters with the Peace Bound, especially given that it's a new stasis weapon. It's a perfect match, actually. Then the fact that, that, that one is solar and one is stasis, again, makes it even better. Both weapons feel incredibly stable due to their high range, stability, and accuracy for the archetypes and their base stats. Pair that with the deadly combos found in the perk pools and you have a recipe for disaster. Speaking of perk pools, let's check out each gun individually. First up, we have Peace Bond, one of the new stasis weapons in the game. Three round burst with some new perks to boot, all right? Now, right along as we look at it here, you have all your basic uh, barrel mods for it, so nothing's too, too special or fancy there, as well as the same thing with the magazine perks here, as well as, you know, with accurized rounds and everything like that. So it's coming with the standards there on the first two slots. Now in the uh, first to last column, we've got tunnel vision, subsistence, pulse monitor, killing wind, range finder, and under pressure. In the final column, we have surrounded, swashbuckler, demolitionist, harmony, snapshot, headstone, one of the new perks, and iron reach, obviously a classic for iron banner weapons, right? Over on Forge's pledge side, we have the same thing going on in the first two columns. All the standard perks. Then in the last col the column, the first to last column, we have Send Moment, Auto Loading Holster, Quick Draw, Surplus, Tunnel Vision, and Heat Heating Up. Then in the final column, we got Wellspring, Snapshot, Rampage, Multi Kill Clip, Unrelenting, Elemental Capacitor, and Iron Grip. Now, starting with Peace Bond, I was very happy to see, first off, that yes, this is one of the new stasis weapons that came into the game, right, this season. And then we also have it as a three round burst, which are my favorite sidearms in the game, are the only ones that can do three round bursts. Now, you know me, I was a little bit disappointed that I didn't see a full auto uh, perk on here, but you know, it's three round burst, that's good enough. The perk pool itself does justice in its own, and the combinations that I, I can see within this list are are pretty much decent. Um, only downside is there is one specific, there is a perk in the list, which is Harmony, 
that I don't necessarily see pairing very well with, or I'm sorry, my mistake, not Harmony, uh, Headstone, which I don't see pairing too well with most of these perks in this list outside of either Tunnel Vision or Killing Wind. Something that gives it a leg up after reloading, right? But as you go on and you see that it does come with subsistence, I think this is one of the first sidearms that I've seen that has subsistence on it. And I would most likely pair that with Harmony, being though that you get a boost when shooting with another weapon. And this will, this will come back tenfold once I go over the Forge's Pledge. Because again, I said I was using them both in tandem with each other, right? So I get the kill with Forge's Pledge. And then if someone's pushing up on me, when I switch over to Peace Bond, I get that extra damage after I switch to my weapon, pull it out and draw, and then I can continue to go with subsistence, get a couple of shots in there and carry on after I get my kill, right? So, and then it reloads from, you know, obviously from the reserves, which we now have infinite ammo with. Um, and then as far as headstone goes, that's one of the newer perks. And I'm going to highlight that one specifically here because this is a stasis weapon and this pairs very well with the stasis subclass and the fragments and aspects, right? So if you have those seekers going off after you get to destroy a stasis crystal, this thing works with that as well. And it's a very good combo. Just, it's just a nasty combo. You'll kind of see it as I'm using it on, in the video here. Um, outside of that like all the perks in, on this weapon are pretty decent like there's not a combination on here that i really wouldn't go for um my specific ones i think i would shoot for obviously would be uh for the first col first to last column would be tunnel vision and subsistence and killing wind all three of those would be my highest picked choices there um subsistence and tunnel vision being for pvp pve and then killing wind being something related for pve pvp um, now i've also been using pulse monitor with it and it doesn't feel too bad so i i, I would have to throw that in there as a, a you know go to if i can't get the other perks right now as far as the last column goes i would kind of crutch on obviously swashbuckler there because it's a sidearm i'm going to be in close counter so i can probably get that kill that finished up kill with that to get that damage boost on there but i wouldn't prioritize that too much there um i'm looking more so at either harmony um or iron grip to be iron reach i mean um reason for that is more so to give me a little bit more range on the gun after i because like i said i'm pairing this with a, a pulse rifle so it's, i'm gonna be down range a little bit and get a little bit extra range the cost of some stability this gun has a phenomenal amount of stability i don't think the, it would hurt it too much to lose the 27 stability there over on forge's pledges plate I'm a little bit disappointed here because I thought and I was hoping that there would be a bit more diversity on a pulse rifles perks, right? I've seen mostly all of these perks except for the new ones on this weapon um, before, on these types of weapons before. And I was hoping that they would throw something new into the mix, kind of switch it up a little bit, you know? This is the same flavor we've seen over and over and over again. And seeing as though this is a 390, one of the best pulse rifles to use in, in the PVP, I was hoping for something a little bit better. Um, that being said, uh, the perks I'm talking about here are gonna be surplus, tunnel vision, and heating up. Those are my three core main ones that I would shoot for in the first to last column. Um, as far as the final column goes, you all know what I'm gonna use to say here. Uh, pretty much rampage, mostly kill clip, unrelenting, elemental capacitor, all of those kind of fall within there. Wellspring is a little bit of a, a one-off um, I currently have a role with Surplus and Wellspring. I do not have the curated, as you can see over here on the screen, there is a curated role with Surplus and Wellspring. I do not have Accurized Rounds. And I'm thinking that probably take that, like makes it even a, a step up above than what I'm currently using now. But if you are watching the video, you see that a lot of my shots are just bang, 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 bang. Like this thing has excellent stability. It just feels comfortable. There's no like too, not too much pull on it, um, especially with the recoil direction. And it just feels really, really good to use. I'm guessing with surplus, because you get that bonus uh, to handling, reloading and stability as well, it just amplifies it even more. So I highly suggest like, if you're going for PVP rolls, surplus be your main role, go main perk in that column to go for. And then in the last column, you can pretty much go for whatever you really want, whatever floats your boat. If you want some extra extra stat boosting, go for elemental capacitor. 
If you want damaging perks like multi-kill clip or rampage, I would suggest you go for multi-kill clip if you know you can secure those kills right away so that you can get the reload off quickly enough because you'll always proc it and always have it if you can secure the first kill. Um, but if you feel like you can't secure enough the kill in enough time, then I would shoot for rampage for that damage perk there. Um, and I wouldn't, like I said, Wellspring, I wouldn't put that off either because that gives you ability energy. So it's kind of in doubles, double st stepping with surplus there, boosting that up. So if you don't have all of your abilities filled up, then you can get that energy from Wellspring and boom, now you've got the buff from surplus, giving you the extra pump. So is it really worth it to farm these out? We've got one more day left. By the time this video drops, it should be in the mid afternoon after reset. Um, and you've got tomorrow's the final, it's gonna be the final day. Um, this should be releasing on Monday, which will be on the 6th. So last day of Iron Banner. Is it worth it to go in there, farm up the tokens to try to get these weapons? Um, looking at the entirety of the loot pool, I'm not sure of which ones are not currently active in the pool or if they're all active in the pool at once right now because you, if, you, if you've unlocked all of the weapons. We currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 weapons in the Iron Banner loot pool that you could potentially get alongside the armor for this season. So my suggestion is if you're gonna sweat it out, wait till the next round of Iron Banner, but make sure you get those that quest done so that you can have the pulse rifle and the sidearm unlocked. Now, I know I had earned the pulse rifle and the sidearm before I unlocked them on the quest. So that's always a thing too. I'm not sure if it's related to that. I think the way it's supposed to work is you unlock them as you get the quest done. But either way, make sure you have that quest done so you don't have to worry about that too much, as well as your bounties. But you're always gonna have the bounties every time Iron Banner comes around. So get those done too. And if you wanna farm it up, I do suggest you go for these weapons. The pulse rifle and the sidearm are definitely some, some hot choices uh, alongside of uh, the steady hand, which is still a good choice. The finite impactor is a little bit up there. Um, and then Reese Walker, obviously shotgun you know, rules. And you got the sniper and the pulse rifle, the other pulse rifle, the time more spire, as well as fool's remedy. So you got some good options here. Uh, so shoot for the stars, grab what you want and rock out. So thank you guys for watching the video and until the next one, peace.